In this video, we'll talk about percent of change. So let's start off with an example. Let's say I'm selling something and originally it costs $50 and then it goes on sale. And we decide $42 is what we're going to sell it for. And the idea is we want to know what percentage did this thing go down by. Now, it can be a little difficult to determine, okay, what, what numbers do I use and where? So, we base everything off of the old price. And the way that most textbooks will explain it to you is you take the difference divided by the original, which is fine. It works. I like to think of it as... You take the new, whatever it is, minus the old, whatever that is, divided by the old. So in this case, our new price divided by our old, or minus our old price divided by our old price. And this will give us our percentage as a decimal. So it'll be like 0.52 or whatever, and that would be 52%, for example. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. So our new price is 42, and our old price is 50. So we're going to have 42 minus 50 all divided by 50, which reduces to negative 8 over 50. And what this negative is telling us is that it decreased, which we can see that. It went down $8. So that part, the negative, just tells you whether it was an increase or a decrease. And then we can run to a calculator or keep reducing. Eventually we're going to get 0.16. Now remember, this is a decimal, so we have to convert it to a percentage. So this would be either you could say negative 16% or it was a 16% decrease. And that's how we would find percent of change. Now this also works if there's an increase in price, which will be our next example. So let's look at one where I buy something for $10 and then I have to turn around and I have to sell it for a profit. So I have to do what's called a markup. So the idea is I buy it for 10, it costs me 10, I'm going to turn around and sell it for a little more than 10, that way I can make money. So I'm going to sell it for $12. So in this case, the $12 is my new and the $10 is my old. And we're going to do new minus old over the old. Which we can then reduce this to being 2 out of 10. And it's positive because it's an increase. And again, we can see that from the get-go. Which would be 0.2. Or, also known as 20%. So this would be a 20% increase. And since it's positive, when we do our division, that just tells us it was an increase, which again, we can see that from the beginning. So if you want to kind of ignore the sign and just say, okay, it's an increase or a decrease, and we can tell what that is, that's fine. That works. Both methods totally work. You can go, we can think about it as I take the difference and then divide it by the old price. I like to think of it as a formula. It just helps me remember a little easier what Basically, what goes in the denominator? Which number do I use for that? That's where most of the confusion seems to stem from with this topic. And it, it's the old price or the old whatever you have. The old measurement. So that's how you do percent of change. It's not too terribly complicated. Just take your time and really ask yourself, okay, what, what did it change to? What's my older measurement? What's my newer measurement?